Ahoy hoy, I'm Planet Walk, and a few weeks back I made a video about how I got something wrong. And I think Level Earth Observer saw that video. And the reason why I say this is because he made a video in which he doesn't mention my video whatsoever. At least not explicitly. But if he's not talking about me, I don't know who he's talking about. Now, Elio's video is about the Skylabs thing that I responded to a few months ago, and I got something wrong with it. It happens. But let's see how Elio decided to frame it. The Globe Believers and the Space Fans couldn't win with this clip. Featured about a month ago on the channel. From the Skylab space station era, which is 70s NASA, essentially. And it showed astronauts playing with a barbell set. So Elio starts by saying that the Globe Believers were never going to win with this, and I'm not entirely sure what he means. Does he think this is a competition or something? Because I don't really view it as winning or losing. I feel like that's very detrimental actually to the conversation, because it prevents people from admitting when they are wrong. If I viewed things in the way that Elio views things, would I be capable of admitting that I'm wrong? I'm not sure because a lot of people view admitting that you're wrong as admitting defeat. And in that case, the performance of being correct is far more important than actually being correct, at least to the individual. Anyway, that was a bit of a tangent, but it does provide a bit of insight into how Elio views things, and why he never admits that he's wrong. Now, half the space fans believed this and defended it passionately. Yes, of course they were pl playing with a barbell set. We're talking the cream of the crop here. The best of the best. You're just jealous, Leo. Now, as far as I can tell, the half of the space fans that he was talking about there was me. I was the only person who I could find who made a video doing what he described there. And funnily enough, I have actually called him jealous before, but that was a few years ago, not recently at all. And the other half just thought it was a joke anyway. So in other words, where's Wally, who was the only other person I could find who made a video on this? Now you could say, ah, but maybe he's talking about people in comments or something. And, well, most of the people in the comments were saying that it was a joke. Most of the people in my comment section even were telling me, hey, this is meant to be a joke. The only way that you get half were saying this and half were saying that is if you go by people making videos on it. Well, it seems that's now changed in favour of the joke. The people who originally defended this are now embarrassed. Yes, the people that said that. Clearly, I am pe- I mean, we are people. Why else would we be okay with people using they, them pronouns? Or maybe you thought that me being a clone of Heath was real, so me and Heath must be the same person. Though, being serious for a second, I think what he's trying to do here is make it seem as though there were more people than just me taking this position. I mean, just us taking this position. Because if it's just one person, then okay, one person made a mistake. But if it's multiple people, well then the Globe Defenders, they can't get their story straight, and when they do it takes them ages. It really feels like Elio is trying to construct a narrative around this where he's the only one that can see what's really going on and everyone else is just confused at what they're seeing. Now they're claiming it's all a joke. That doesn't cut it either. Because if it was all a joke and the astronauts were playing around, they wouldn't need silly props, would they? No. This astronaut in the middle could press either one of his mates on either hand and then jump up. That really would be playing around and quite cool. Hey, uh, Elio, I think you're going to find this footage that I have really cool. So this isn't necessarily exactly what Elio was describing, but I mean, it's close enough. You see, the footage of the astronauts pretending to lift weights wasn't the only footage where the astronauts were just having fun. There's also this as well. As it turns out, there are multiple ways in which the astronauts recorded themselves just doing some random stuff having a laugh. Also, if you look to the right of the screen, I'm pretty sure in the background you can see the things that they used as weights. So yeah, I'm guessing the concept of astronauts doing more than one thing is just going to blow Elio's mind. But even if we ignore that, the fact that the astronauts used props for a joke doesn't mean anything. I have used props for jokes before. Like there was one time in high school where I had some rope and there was a skeleton prop in the science department. All I had to do was tie the rope around the skeleton's neck 
and then hang it somewhere. Now that was a funny joke. But of course, the skeleton wasn't at the school for me to do that with it. It's just that I thought, hey, this is something funny that we could do. Likewise, the astronauts probably thought, hey, we've got these things and we could make a joke out of it. Let's do it. So the fact now all the globe believers are saying, yeah, they were just fooling around, this is just a prank. Well, they could have done the prank for fun, for real, without the silly props that fooled half the space fans. Again, he means me there. Apparently I'm half the space fans. And could have done it by lifting the astronauts, so-called astronauts, pressing them, one in each hand. How cool would that have been? Well, they did something similar. It's just they decided to do this as well. But as time has gone on, the ones that originally believed this tosh are now so embarrassed they've sided with the astronauts playing around side. And that's just as embarrassing for the reasons I've already stated. Elio, if anything's embarrassing here, it's you saying, oh, well, they, they should have done this when they kind of did. I will freely admit that I got some things wrong, but Elio, you also got some things wrong by saying that this was something that was meant to be taken seriously. And your response has been, well, if they weren't serious, then why didn't they do this thing except they kind of did. At this point, it's probably a good idea for Elio to stop because he's just digging himself a deeper hole. The astronaut in the middle could have pressed both his mates here and used them like dumbbells and then leapt up. That would have been funny, cool, scientific and actually interesting. But no, we just get the same old terrible tosh. You know, the existence of this clip makes everything that he's saying just really funny and he's never going to address it as well. And on the off chance that he does, I doubt that he would acknowledge that this flies in the face of everything that he's been saying and kind of invalidates his point. And you know, I'm actually kind of glad that I got things wrong because if I got things right, I would never have had to say, hey, I got things wrong. And then Elio would never have made this video where he fails even harder. But that being said, I do think he's being dishonest with how he's trying to spin the narrative here. I mean, he could show that I'm wrong by showing that there are more people that took my position initially, but I didn't see them and I did check, but I couldn't find anything. Anyway, leave a like and subscribe if you like this video. Leave a comment letting me know what you'd like to see me do in a future video. You know what you can do, Planet Walk? You know what videos you can do? Demonstrate your globe. Flat Sword, you're not supposed to be in this video. You're in the next video. You're in the next video, oh dear. I will see you in that video. Between you and me, thank you for watching.